Hello everyone. In the previous session, we have discussed about the management of muscle invasive bladder cancer. Now we'll see the management of metastatic metastatic bladder cancer. Management of metastatic bladder carcinoma. The standard of care for the management of metastatic bladder carcinoma is cisplatin based chemotherapy the standard of care standard of care is cis platin based cis platin based chemotherapy the first line of drugs are first line of drugs are either it is MVAC regimen or high dose MVAC regimen or GC regimen. Okay, these drugs in this MVAC regimen are methotrexate, vinblastin, adriamycin. adriamycin this is also known as a doxorubicin and the main drug that is cisplatin this is mvac regimen the gc means gemcitabine and cisplatin these are the two regimens that are useful for the used for the management of the metastatic bladder cancer the ultimate the overall survival after giving chemotherapy is around 15 to 20 percent around 15 to 20 percent now we will see who those patients who are not candidates for the cisplatin therapy that is non cisplatin candidates The cisplatin should be given in patients who are at good performance status. So, if the performance status is more than 2, you cannot give the cisplatin. If, the, if there is renal, if renal functioning is not properly there, then creatinine clearance. If the creatinine clearance is less than 60 ml per minute that is also contraindication for the cisplatin based therapy grade 2 and above audiometric hearing loss audiometric hearing loss grade 2 and above peripheral neuropathy peripheral neuropathy and NYHA class 3 or higher heart failure higher heart failure these are all our contraindication for the cisplatin or not cisplatin candidates when the performance status is more than 2 creatinine clearance less than 60 or if there is grade 2 or above peripheral neuropathy and uh, audiometric hearing loss or NYHA classification of heart failure if it is a class 3 or above these all can these are all are non cisplatin candidates so in those cases you can go for carboplatin because it has improved tolerability than cisplatin but the carboplatin has decreased efficacy decreased efficacy this is about the mvac regimen and the cisplatin but the gemcitabine plus cisplatin therapy because of the low toxicity and less toxicity this gc regimen is widely used than mvac regimen so gc regimen is widely used compared to the mvac regimen this is about the standard of care 
what are the other drugs that can be used in case of metastatic bladder carcinoma the first drug is pembrolizumab this is a humanized antibody it targets the programmed cell death one programmed cell death one receptor this receptor will be present on lymphocytes this is the pembrolizumab this is about the pembrolizumab drug the next one is etijolizumab this is against the programmed cell death ligand 1 this is also humanized antibody the next drug is nivolumab this is the antibody that blocks the programmed cell death 1 receptor so these are the other drugs that can be used in case of a metastatic bladder carcinoma other than the chemotherapeutic drugs you can go for the pembrolizumab, etazolizumab and nivolumab.